can obtain the fat. You can use various systems here. I myself happen to like just doing a straight liposuction. I think that works good. If I want SVF, I'm very partial to the system using lecithin. I think lecithin may work better than collagenase because lecithin will give you some liposomes which help guard some of your uh, growth factors around. So that's an important thing there. And the cost for liposuction is fairly inexpensive also. I mean, the, the, the system to the enzymes is more expensive, but the actual procedure itself is very inexpensive. And this is what the SDF can look like after about 60 cc of fat. One of the new thinkings on adipose cells, and this is why I like to use a fat graph, because we now know that adipose tissue has a very strong, a very potent stem cell in it called a mu cell. And mu cells basically are found in the fat, but when you use collagenase, for instance, you're going to lose all the cells. That's why you put these cells in as a free fat graph. How do these cells get turned on? By stress. No oxygen, no nutrients. So you put it in as a fat graph, either in the face or in the knee, guess what? These cells are going to start reproducing. They have a very high survival rate. Most of the cells you put in die. These cells don't. And they're probably very potent, again, with a very high survival rate. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, growing these cells, if I was allowed to grow these cells in the United States, I still wouldn't do it. Why? Because when you start growing these cells, they lose their characteristics, they lose their morphology, they lose their secretory patterns. They don't really work that way. You know, the body doesn't use one type of cell over another. It uses the symphony of cells, and that's what you have to do.